Hello there, Scott from Wessex Blades. A um, few SD problems with the card on my camera lately. Um, it seems that if it was running for three minutes, the last two minutes of the data on there just wouldn't be on, it would be just completely black. Uh, so either I've got um, a battery contact problem in there in the, in the camera or my SD card's corrupt, so I don't know. So I'll hopefully do this in sort of mini sort of chunks. Hopefully I don't lose too much. I don't know what the problem is at the moment, but we'll press on. Um, doing the edge profiles on the person that I picked up with the badass. Uh, I've got it in the drill vice, like that, in the vice, that way. Um, I'm grinding up and down here, flipping over there for the other side. Um, but as I say, when, when I finish doing whatever I'm doing, I'd never leave it in the voice like that. I'd undo it and put it down because it only walks onto that, especially a kid with a head up this sort of height. It's just not the sort of thing to do, you wouldn't leave it like that. In a voice that way up. Alright, so I got a crack on, loads to do. Come on. See, it's very even. There. Or about an eighth of the way. See it?
about a good hour I've been on the grinder and I got that persistent um, sort of tingling sensation in my hand so that's all I can actually do on the grinder for this evening but that's the stages at now on both sides um, I'd say I'm about a third of the way in so there's about three hours worth of angle grinder work there uh, the, the thing what you're up against with these uh, rotary machines or a sort of a juddering effect on belts and grind wheels and things. It's a thing called white finger which over a period of many months you'll actually end up with this problematic circulatory thing in your fingers. Um, I'm not even going to go there. So you know, I do an hour and as soon as I feel my fingers start like that. You literally you thump your fingers together and you got so you, you metal, your hands feel like metal. You, you, you'll get there when you find out about it. Um, so. That's that's all I'm going to do. A good hour. Um, you have a, a big 72-inch belt. You just sit there, and the thing's not doing the same effect as holding a, a throbbing angle grinder that's juddering up and down on the um, on the steel. So this is far more fatiguing than if I had a, um, even a 48-inch, 36-inch belt grinder. So my little one there ain't, ain't going to really remove enough material or even bother. <laughs> carrying on with it. So I'll come back again tomorrow, I'll give it another hour, and then another hour, and then hopefully by the weekend I'll have got the edge up on the badass at least. That's the limitations of my gear. Anyway, so thanks for joining me again. It's nice, isn't it? A little bit of work to do on the choil. If you have a look I've actually offset the hole slightly that way because I know I've got to take the twirl a bit further out to that there give myself a bit more room because I ain't the biggest hands in the world and that don't quite fit in so the time I just ease a little bit into there again that should be about right it's going to be really cool to find out when this thing gets working with an edge on it grey blade see you know. All the best, Scott.